Hello, Trey. What's up? Not too much. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we will get started with the first question from Sarah Spencer. Hey, Trey. Um, I saw you had to wear the, the goggles tonight. Um, just how's your eye or, or I guess eyelid feeling and can you kind of walk me through um, what happened there? Yeah, uh, it was uh, it was in the last game. It was in like the end of the third quarter, maybe beginning the fourth and like uh, try to split the, split, split the screen and um, big old uh, elbowed me uh, as I was trying to split the screen and uh, just got me pretty good in my eye and uh, it's, it's bruised pretty bad under my eyelid and so uh, just wanted to uh, make sure it didn't get hit again because uh, that, that would hurt pretty bad for sure. Is it odd playing with that on at all? Like, do you kind of have to get used to shooting with those on? Yeah, I mean, for a second, for a second there. Uh, I mean, today was my first day. I actually got to uh, wear them. Uh, I didn't get to wear them and shoot around this morning. They didn't get in in time. So I, I kind of just had to go on the fly today with shooting it. So uh, I felt good as I got into a rhythm with them. A little bit of a, a slow start to you guys for both, uh, for you guys in both halves. But what are your thoughts on how you guys were able to kind of put this one away? Uh, I mean, we just stuck with it. We just stuck to the game plan and just uh, stayed with it. I mean, they made some runs. We couldn't get a shot to go early in that, that third quarter. And um, uh, we just kind of just, like I said, stuck with it. And then uh, everything, everything went in our favor um, as we kept playing. Thank you. Edwin Powell. Congrats on the win, Trey. Um, big night from uh, Lou Will tonight. I'm curious as to uh, what you've kind of seen from Lou Will uh, on and off the court. How's that relationship progressing with you two? Uh, I mean, it's, it's awesome uh, playing with playing with him and having him on our team. Uh, I mean, he's such a, I mean, a humble dude. Um, and for somebody who's so accomplished uh, in his career, for him to, to be as, I mean, the, the type of guy he is, it's fun to have him in the locker room. He's a, a good dude. Uh, it's fun fun learning from him. Um, just, just fun being around him. So uh, happy he, he's back here in Atlanta. And uh, I mean, look forward to continuing to have some more fun with him. And a, a non-basketball follow-up, just your thoughts on uh, the verdict that uh, happened shortly before tip-off today. Um, what, what's the question? Well, uh, just uh, your your thoughts on the uh, the Chauvin verdict with uh, George Floyd uh, found um, guilty. Just if um, you had any thoughts on it. No, nah, I, I mean I, I tweeted out my thoughts about it. That's all I, I have to say about it. I think it's, it shows accountability for for what he did, and um, it's is I'm glad justice was served in the, in this uh, in this instance. Um, I mean, it sucks still for George Floyd's family and and uh, everybody around him or connected to him. And uh, so that part still sucks. Uh, but um, like I said, there's still a lot more work to do, but I'm happy he was uh, held accountable for his actions. Jonathan Simmons. Hey, Trey, uh, congratulations on the win and the way you guys have been playing uh, as of late. Uh, two questions. Number one, um, this team seems like it really gets along very well. Seems to be great energy uh, on the sidelines. Uh, so what has been kind of the key for all these moving parts, new players to kind of come in and gel? And number two, when do you have a sensibility to move away from a playmaker role to more of a score role in a game? Uh, can you repeat your first question? I'm sorry. Yeah, so the – yeah, so the first question is, you guys really, as a team, considering a lot of you guys are kind of the first year playing together, you seem like you get along very well. What's kind of the key to you guys having such great camaraderie with all these kind of basically new players coming into this team? Yeah, I mean, uh, first, I think just, I mean, I think the camaraderie just from us being on the road trips and uh, with, with all the COVID situations, we've kind of just been around each other, uh, I mean, quite a bit. And just with all the new guys, um, I think that kind of works in our favor a little bit. Um, just from us being around each other so much, you get to spend more time, you get to really know each other off the court, and uh, it translates on the court. And uh, I think that's a good thing for us. As far as the other question, what kind of when do you have a sensibility in the game that you might have to move oh, yeah. from more of a playmaker to a 
scores role during the course of a game? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's more about the flow of the game. I love starting out the game, um, getting everybody involved and, and trying to get everybody involved. Uh, so everybody has a good good feel um, and good good rhythm into the game. And as the game goes on, everybody's warm and has touched the ball already. So everybody feels good. And as the game goes on, um, I continue to look to be more aggressive and things like that. But early on, I love to get, I mean, teammates involved early, run a lot of plays and pin downs and things like that to get other guys the ball and in, in, uh, in spots that they like it. Um, and as the game goes on, try to be more more aggressive and my teammates be asking me to be telling me to be more aggressive as the game goes on too. So, um, I mean, it, it, it works both ways. I'm happy I, I had the teammates I do. Thank you. Got time for two more. First from Chris Kirshner. How do you feel like you're growing as an organizer out on the floor this season? Uh, I think I'm doing pretty well at it. I think I'm uh, just understanding when when it's time to – when it's time to slow down and then when it's time to take over. Uh, I think I just know, I just, I'm starting to understand a lot more and just feel the game and feeling the game out more. I think that just comes with playing and um, I just, I think I'm getting a lot better at it. I had another question. Um, you're, you're taking fewer threes this season. What, what would you attribute that to? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I got some other guys that can really shoot the ball. I mean, I'm still shooting my floaters. I'm still doing all that. Still, I mean, one of the top guys in the league in assists. I mean, I don't, I don't care about shooting threes and, and all that stuff. But like, if, if I, if I get open threes, I'm gonna shoot them. Um, but if I find gaps in lanes to attack, I'm gonna attack them. So that's, that's kind of just how it is. I don't really play numbers and percentages and, I mean, how many threes I shoot or focus on, on all that. I just focus on making the right play. Final question from Raphael Haynes. Hello, Trey. Raphael Haynes from the Three Point Conversion. Trey, would you say that this is the best you all have played as far as together, as far as everybody just seems like they're in a good rhythm at the same time? Uh, we, we ain't got everybody. <laughs> but everybody's playing right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I know. I, I it's crazy to think about. We got a lot of guys that are playing well and, and doing a lot of really good things. And uh, we still ain't even got everybody back. And um, it's, it's great to that the guys that are playing right now are doing so well and we're all scoring and, and uh, making plays. And that's a good feeling. Um, but I'm also ready to get everybody back and uh, we can all, all do it together. Thank you, Trey.